Hi friends, in this video we're going to show you how quick and easy it is to create a beautiful website that will capture your website visitors' attention using Pape's free store builder. Pape provides a simple drag and drop website builder that does not require any coding or design skills, so anyone can create a website with built-in e-commerce functionalities for free. But if you are a little bit more tech savvy, we also provide tools for you to inject custom HTML and CSS codes, which we'll show you at a later part of this video. For this tutorial, we've divided it into four smaller sections. First, we're going to show you how to build a simple one-page website that is fully functional as an online store or as a static landing page. Next, we'll show you how to build a more complex website with multiple pages so it looks more professional and has more content. We'll also show you how to customize specific groups of website pages, for example, if you want to edit all of your product pages all at once. And finally, we'll show you how to set up site-wide customizations, aka making changes that apply to your entire website. This includes things like changing your website fonts, color palette, and more. Feel free to skip ahead to specific chapters within this video to find what you're looking for. If you're feeling a little overwhelmed about having to create a website on your own, don't worry, you can create a very simple but beautiful and professional website by just watching approximately the first 5 minutes of this video tutorial. But if you want to take your website from good to super awesome, then keep on watching until the end. Before we start, I'll also mention that Bay provides website themes in case you need a little bit more help in creating a website with a more cohesive aesthetic. Now let's get started on building your website on Payip. Make sure you're already logged into your Payip seller account. If you don't have an account yet, sign up for free at payip.com. To launch your store builder, go to the store tab on the top menu bar. You can access our pre-made website themes here. But I'm going to click launch store builder to build a new website from scratch. The left hand navigation bar is what you're going to be working with most of the time when building your website. The right hand side of your screen is an unpublished website preview so you can see what your website would look like as you're making adjustments. You can also toggle between a desktop view and a mobile view to make sure that your website always looks great on all devices. No one will be able to see any of your website edits until you hit the publish button, so you can have a peace of mind and build away. By default, you will land on the all products page. All of the product listings you've uploaded on Bay will automatically show up here. If you set up product collections, they will also automatically show up as you can see on the screen. From here, I'll show you how you can create a professional online store with just this one page. You'll see that beyond your product listings, by default, your store already has an about me section that you can customize. Simply click on the website sections that you'd like to customize on the left navigation bar. You'll then be presented with everything you can customize on this section, including the image, the text, as well as any other settings such as the follow button and more. I can also change the color scheme of this website section here. By default, you have five pre-made color schemes to choose from but I'll show you later on in this video how to edit your color schemes. Once you finish customizing this section, click Save Changes. But if you don't want to have this section on your website, you can also click Delete section instead. Now click the Back button and click Add section on the left-hand navigation to add any other sections to the body of this website page. There are tons of pre-built website sections to choose from, so take your time to explore them all. Here I'm going to quickly show you how to add and customize a new section. You'll see that each section has various customization options on the left-hand navigation. For this website section, you can change the text for the heading and the subheading. You can also input a hyperlinked button or you can just leave this empty if you don't want a button. Under settings, you can customize this further including the sizes of the fonts and buttons as well as the size and text alignment of this entire section. I'm going to leave most of the things as is but I do want to change the background image. So I'll click the background tab and upload a new image from my computer. I'm done customizing this website section, so I'm going to click on Save Changes. Click the back button and you'll see the new section has now appeared on your website preview. If you want to rearrange the order of your website sections, you can simply drag and drop various sections like this. One last website section that I wanted to go over is our embed code. Embed code allows you to embed any third-party codes into your Payip website. That means you can embed things like website pop-ups, social media feed, countdown timer, the possibilities are endless. We'll cover this topic separately, and if you have any questions about our embed code, please feel free to reach out to our support team. I'm happy with how my website looks so far, so now let's customize the header section. Under store logo, you can upload an image of your company logo and input your store title. Next, under Navigation Links, you can implement a navigation menu for your website. This will come in handy once you have more pages on your website, so we'll customize this later in the next chapter of this video. Under Header Settings, you can customize the layout of your header, make your header transparent, or customize the width and position of your header. Next, you can enable or disable an announcement bar. 
announcement bars are great for announcing special promotions that you have going on within your store. You can choose whether the announcement bar will show up on all of your website pages or just your homepage. Finally, you can also customize elements on your website header. The first element that you can customize is a call to action button, which is very useful for coaches and agencies who want their website visitors to take one very specific action. And here's what it looks like as an example. The next elements that you can customize is to show or hide the search icon and the shopping cart icon. By default, both of these are set to shown, and we recommend keeping both of these shown as these are very important part of your customer purchase experience. Now that you've finished customizing your website header and website body, let's also customize the footer section. First, you can choose whether you want a simple footer or a column footer which contains various elements like this. Next, add any navigation links that you like. This will come in handy when you have lots of website pages. Apply any other customization that you like, including your font size, enabling or disabling payment icons. We recommend enabling this as it may increase purchase conversion on your online store. And lastly, you can also enable or disable social media icons and more. Once you're done, hit the Save Changes button. And that's it! Now you have a fully functional online store. Don't forget to hit the Publish button to make this website live and accessible by the general public. And don't worry, we will go over how you can change your website fonts and colors in the second to last chapter of this video, so stay tuned. Now I'm going to take this to another level by building a more complex website with more website pages such as a dedicated homepage, about us page, and more. Here's an example of what it looks like as an end result. For this, you will need custom pages. Custom pages are basically just blank website pages that you can build from scratch and it can be made into anything you want. To create a custom page, click the Add button and click Custom Page. Input your page title here. In this case, I'm going to name it About Us and click Add. You'll see that it has the same exact mechanism as what we've covered earlier. You just need to add pre-built website sections and customize them to your liking. Here's what I've inputted on my page. Now, I want to make sure that my website visitors are able to easily find this page on my website. So I'm going to put a link to this page on my website navigation menu. To do this, head to the header section and click Navigation Links, and then click Edit Navigation. Here I'm going to click Add Link and input the name and the link to the custom page that I've just created. You'll see that there is now a new navigation menu that leads to the new page that I've just created. If you want this navigation menu to exist as a drop-down from another main menu, all you have to do is drag it below another main menu that you want, just like what you see on the screen. You'll see that the menu is now nestled as a submenu under another main menu. I'm going to rinse and repeat the process to create another custom page, but this time I'll be creating a homepage. Here I've created a homepage that I've built from scratch. By default, your homepage will be the all products page as you can see on the screen with the house icon but I want this custom page to be my homepage instead, so the website visitors will always land on this page first before going to any other pages on my website. All you have to do here is to go to the custom page that you've made, click the gear icon, and click Set as Homepage. You'll see a few other settings such as deleting the custom page or editing the page settings. Editing the page settings is very useful for SEO optimization purposes, but we'll cover that on a separate video. Just like the other custom page we've created, make sure to provide a way for your website visitors to be able to go to this page easily by putting it on your website navigation links. Head to your header section to make that adjustment. You can navigate to any other pages you've created from this menu here. This also includes individual product listing pages. Go to any pages that you want to customize and add or remove website sections just like we did earlier. Congratulations, you've created a beautiful and professional website. It's time to move on to the next step, which is to customize groups of website pages at the same time. You can see all of your website page groups here. You have custom pages, which are all the pages that you built from scratch. You have product pages, which are all of your product listings. You have collection pages, subscription pages, blog pages, and more. In order to customize all of the website pages under specific groups, head to any pages within that group. In this case, I'm going to select a random product listing. On the left navigation bar, click Edit All Product Pages at the same time. By default, all of your product listings come with these three elements. The product itself, customer review section, and a related product section. You can further customize them or remove them from your product listing pages. Here you can also easily add any other website sections to all of your product pages. 
In this example, I want to add an FAQ section so I can provide more information for my customers when they're viewing my products. Once I hit save, this will be applied to all of the product pages on my website. Now it's finally time to go over site-wide settings and customizations, aka implementing customizations that will be applied to your entire website. This is where you can really take your website to another level by using cohesive color palettes and fonts that match your brand. To do this, click on the Change Store Style on the left navigation bar. Starting from the top, here's where you can customize your website color scheme. Before we begin customizing this, let's first pay attention to how this works. By default, you can create five color scheme combinations, but no more than that. Each color scheme has a specific combination of colors from the font, section background color, button color, and so many more. You can see that on this page, this website section uses the dark color scheme, and this website section uses the white color scheme. If I make changes to the white color scheme, as you can see on the screen, every single website section on my entire website that uses this color scheme will be affected. This helps to ensure consistency in the color scheme of your entire website. Now on to customizing the various colors within each of the color scheme on your website. The easiest way to do this is to first select which color scheme you want to customize. In this case, I want to customize all of the website sections that use the white color scheme. All you have to do is to click on the specific elements that you want to change the color of. In this case, I'm going to click the text here and change the color. I'm also going to click on the button and also change the color. Now, if you want to change an individual section's color scheme selection, then you'll need to go back to the individual website section and customize it there instead. Here, I'm going to quickly show you again how you'll be able to do that. Click the back button to view all of your website sections and click on the specific website sections that you want to change the color schema. Scroll down and click the color scheme of your choice. That's it. You've successfully customized the color schemes of your website. If you don't want to spend time customizing your own color schemes, you can also choose from our pre-made themes. Head back to the menu, click themes and click switch to another theme. Select from any of the pre-made website themes that we've created. These pre-made themes already come with cohesive color palettes as well as fonts. The next site-wide settings that you can customize is your fonts. Your website consists of various text from headers, subheaders, paragraphs, text on your buttons, and more. You can customize any of those from the left navigation bar. The easiest way to do this is to use your website preview screen and click on whichever elements that you want to change the font of. You'll then see the settings automatically appearing on the left navigation bar. Next, you can also customize how all of the buttons look on your website, including the shape and the sizes. You can upload an image as your favicon. If you're not familiar with favicons, they show up on your website visitor browser like this. But they have more benefits than that, including brand recognition and more. Next, you can customize your cookie banner here. And as mentioned previously, you can also use website themes to change the appearance of your website using our pre-made themes. Finally, if you want to tinker around with custom HTML and CSS, here's where you would inject your codes. Congratulations, you've now taken your website from good to almost super awesome. There are a couple more things that you can do on your website to make it even better. First, you can connect a custom domain to make your website feel more like your own. Purchase any custom domain from any third-party domain providers. Connect them to your paid store here. Next, you can also create a blog section for your website. This allows you to publish blog post content that will help your website rank on Google search results. And that's it! You've successfully created a super awesome website for free! And yes, we emphasize the free aspect because Babe is one of the only e-commerce platforms that allows you to create a powerful website with built-in e-commerce functionalities for free. Babe only charges 5% when you've received orders or sales, which means that if you don't receive any orders, you still get to keep your beautiful website for free. That's it for today! Visit help.pay.com for more helpful tips on how to utilize various features on Payhip, or reach out to contact at if you have any questions. Have fun building your own website, and talk to you soon!